Hey, so I've been asked how do I make my videos that are very popular on YouTube for seniors to watch. So I wanted to show you kind of behind the scenes. This is the camera that I use. It is a Yeti camera, Y-E-T-I. I'll put a link to it under this video. And this little stand that I got, I got at a music store for about $20. And this, um, what do you call it, spit thing. It's like what the singers use so you don't like into the microphone. It makes a, a big difference and it took me forever to find that. I found that online at Amazon for like $9. So this whole rig can move out of the way. Actually, this Yeti microphone comes with a desktop stand, which works really well, except if you ever bump it or if you have a fan going, then the vibration comes all the way through the, the microphone. And if you look up here, this stand is has rubber bands actually holding the microphone, so all the vibrations from the desk will not affect it at all. And for lighting, when you're doing a video, I use the Logitech C920 camera, which is the one that I've been recommending for years. It goes on the back of the monitor, and right next to the camera, I have just a regular desk lamp, which is a fluorescent light bulb. So I'll turn that on when I'm doing either a video conference with the client or just doing a video. So it has even light, and it's not exactly perfectly even. It would be if I put the desk lamp right behind the camera. That would be ideal. It would have the same lack of shadows that the camera tries to see, but it's kind of close enough. So it's just maybe a 10 or $20 desk lamp, the C920, which is paid for itself millions of times over, and this microphone that I use. Now sometimes I'll use the, um, the wireless Sennheiser thing that I got from the headphone people, but it does not have one of those little wind screens on there. That's what it's called, wind screen. And so it's a lot more choppy when you're doing a video this way, but it's a lot easier for me than disconnecting it and setting up this microphone. But if I'm doing a video for YouTube, I'll use this microphone, a lot higher quality. And then of course the challenge is to adjust this arm so that the camera is just out of the frame so that people can't see it on the camera. And you can watch on your preview with the camera what you're using. And we'll talk about software later, but I just wanted you to see what I use hardware-wise. Thank you. Bye-bye.